as fate would have it, heaven forbid, nature permitting, Murphy's Law. Whatever version you prefer, it's all the same. Not that much has changed between their time and ours. They were just more cognizant of it. Look, if we want to use the metaphor that life is a game, it means playing the dice or the chips or the cards where they fall. Play it where it lies, a golfer would say. The way life is gives you plenty to work with, plenty to leave your imprint on. Taking people and events as they are is quite enough material already. Follow where the events take you, like water rolling down a hill. It always gets to the bottom eventually, doesn't it? Because A, you're robust and resilient enough to handle whatever occurs. B, you can't do anything about it anyway. And C, you're looking at a big enough picture and a long enough timeline that whatever you have to accept is still only a negligible blip on the way to your goal. We're indifferent and that's not a weakness. As Francis Bacon once said, nature, in order to be commanded, must be obeyed. So, missed filming a few chores this morning. Just been too busy staring at this haircut. So now we're gonna haul some cow shit. Tires look good. No need to air them up today. From there to here. Just stopping in. Just stopping in. Just watching Gramps work on the puzzle over here. What? Just watching Gramps work on the puzzle over here. Oh, you got your hair cut. Yeah. Come on, Junior. Come on, girl. Some may call it irresponsible. I say, have a little spontaneity. All right, headed to the local gym to get a workout in. Gonna get a zone two workout in on the treadmill, so that means running for 40 minutes. I'm meeting my friend there who's a pilot and now he complains that he can never work out, so we're gonna put him through a good one today. Meet in the middle. Good work, Maury. Keep going. Keep going. Five, one. Whoa, what? Yup. I was at 12. Do five more. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh had a boy. God. Getting into Russian twist. Smell like fucking Jack. Yeah. <laughs> These are for all those stewardess out there. Had a boy. What? I can't reach that. Yeah, one. you gotta you gotta figure Man, it out. In between my legs. Yeah, find a spot where you can. Boom. Boom. There you go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Try to not let your legs touch the ground. Fuck. You got it. boy. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Good shit. Pilot, what are your what are the biggest challenges you face trying to reach your fitness goals and basically getting a work in workout in? Um, eat healthy and then just tired, you know. Long yeah. Day. Why is that? A long day on your ass. Um, 
you're exhausted mentally, not even physically. You sit down all day, but it's just in the head. So. So what about nutrition? Like, what what kind of access do you have nutrition? So I bring my own stuff. So I usually bring rice, chicken, um, the veggies, but that's on you. So other people, Mr. Tubby over here, he's eating Whataburger, all that shit. So I'm trying to keep it clean. So basically, when it comes to being a pilot, your diet is your own responsibility. Like, hundred yeah. percent. So if you want to eat something clean, you have to bring your own lunch. Other than that, they just give you the snacks that you get on the plane. Hundred percent, which is Pringles. So you don't want to eat don't eat nothing so gotcha so what's your goal this year fitness wise um fitness wise to have more traps than the vietnamese hell yeah you want to fucking increase your traps yeah hell yeah all right thanks for your time my man I just got a good workout in ran for 40 minutes hit the sauna for half an hour and then i took a cold shower now we're just leaving the dispensary i'm gonna go home have some coffee smoke a little weed and then get back to work So this feed left over here is called refusal and this is about a good amount because the cows are going in to get milk so I'm about to clean it up and then I'm going to start feeding them. So when they get back from being milked there's going to be a big pile of feed in front of them. The switch doesn't turn the lights off in this tractor, so we gotta unhook the ground tonight so it'll start up in the morning. All good, got her disconnected, lights off. Buddy's coming down from the thumb, going out styling tonight. <laughs> so what do you think so far, Ryan? Oh man, a lot of underage girls out here, bro. I'm fucking scared, bro. I'm scared. That's why I'm leaving, dog. That's why I'm leaving. <laughs> too, too many underage girls. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. We're gonna go get them older ladies. Right, <laughs> a lot right. safer. A lot wiser. Right, you hear? Right. I hear. Okay, it's on you. Thanks for joining us. Hell we'll yeah, hell yeah. We'll see you tomorrow, motherfuckers. If you could be like, th thank you for joining us and see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>